In today's video, we are going to explore Santa Fe, New Mexico, and then get lost in the Rocky Mountains. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Let's begin by driving up to Santa Fe, New Mexico's capital. I'm starting to see some adobe style buildings, so we must be getting close. Actually, let's park right here. Well, here I parked, two dollars an hour, not too bad. Hotel made to look like, a, like an ancient Pueblo. Here we have the Loreto Chapel, famous for its miraculous spiral staircase, which seems to defy the laws of physics. And we're going to see it here in a bit. This was actually the first Gothic building west of the Mississippi, built in the 1870s. It's only three dollars to see it, so that's reasonable. Nowadays, the chapel only works as a museum and for special events like weddings. There, there's the miraculous stair in the back. The fact that it has no central pole to support it is what makes it so peculiar. It is also supposed to be a remarkable feat of woodworking, especially with the crude hand tools of the era in which it was constructed. Here we have another look at the gothic facade and this nice park here with all the wind spinners. I continue walking around, admiring all the quirky art everywhere and I think maybe I made a scheduling mistake again because the town is pretty much deserted. Here was my plan, uh, see a bit of Santa Fe in the morning, then have lunch, and then go to the Taos Pueblo, which is about an hour and a half away. I think maybe I should have reversed it and done Taos in the morning and then Santa Fe in the afternoon, when it is more lively. And it seems like it might be a really touristy area at the right time, which is not right now. Here's the Santa Fe Plaza. And uh, check it out, an old GMC. I love those old motorhomes. I continue walking around the plaza, admiring all the adobe style buildings. This one in particular is the Palace of the Governors, with some Native American craft vendors outside. Inside, it is a museum, but I didn't feel like paying for the full tour, not in the museum mood today. It is actually the oldest continuously occupied public building in the United States, believed to have been constructed in around 1610, and lots of Native American crafts, and lots of museums in this area. I 
I continue walking around, wandering into these interior patios here. This one, a shop called the Rainbow Man. Here's one of the restaurants uh, that I'm actually considering for lunch later today. Let's go and see the cathedral. This building here with the colorful columns is the Contemporary Native American Art Museum. And there it is, the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi, commonly known as just uh, the St. Francis Cathedral. The Romanesque Revival building dates back to the 1880s, uh, built on the site of an older adobe-style church, which was called La Parroquia. Uh, there's a uh, Saint Francis, surrounded by all the saints of the New World. Here's the very ornate uh, Our Lady of the Rosary Chapel. Well, yeah, that was the cathedral, very beautiful inside. And uh, let's continue exploring. It's, it's very quiet today here in, in Santa Fe. But we'll continue exploring and we'll see what we can find. Diego de Vargas Zapata. In this area we encounter a bunch of art galleries as we walk towards Canyon Road, which is supposedly an artsy neighborhood around here. Here we have the New Mexico School for the Arts. How appropriate, huh? It turns out, however, that people don't usually go out to look at art in the morning. Who would have thought? This uh, canyon road is listed as one of the top things to do here in, in Santa Fe. It's very, very, very eerie feeling that there's nobody on the streets. Absolutely no one. seen the real ones all over the place here in the city. I'm 
Apparently this is the river down there. Well, the river is kind of uh, frozen here. Yeah, this is the famous desert inn where the Santa Fe Bight is located. It's a government building, New Mexico State Land Office. Well, here we have it, the New Mexico State uh, Capitol building. Let's continue exploring. There is what is called the family sculpture here in front of the Capitol, also called the roundhouse. It's becoming a little more lively as the day progresses. Well, if you are into colorful Native American garments, there is plenty of that here. Let's go find something to eat, with chilies in it, preferably. Okay. Well, that Casa Sena place looked uh, fancy, so let's check out the shed one more time. Well, I'm gonna begin with a local IPA, as it is my tradition now, and it is very nice here, good service. I am having the carne adobada, mm, very spicy. Okay, let's go. Oh, off we go. by far the, the spiciest uh, meal I've ever had. Let's get back to the car. Yeah, that's it. Funny thing, as I get ready to leave town, it is getting livelier around here. They even have live mariachi music at the plaza now. Hey, but wait, that's La Bikina, one of my favorite Mexican songs. There's something about the cadence and the harmonic progressions and the rhythm, yeah. Well, as much as I am enjoying the music, I'm gonna have to get going. I've got more stuff to show you. How about we go to the oldest house, not only here in Santa Fe, but in the whole entire United States. The oldest house in the USA from 1646. We enter through the gift shop. This section here is an 800 year old adobe house. Although the three rings date the house to about 1646, it is believed this part of the structure itself might be older, even dating back to the 1200s. And this is what it must have looked like back in the day. And there's a coffin, of course. was the oldest house in the USA, how cool is that? Serendipitously, uh, just happened to, to pass by it. Taos Pueblo may close within one hour of when you arrive. Head southeast on east of Vargas Street toward Orchard Drive. There, I know I should have done Taos Pueblo earlier, but uh, now I've got less than an hour.
Well, I changed my mind. We are not going to Taos, after all. Perhaps another trip. Actually, a viewer recommended this place in the mountains called Tent Rocks. So I'm going to try and make it there. Of course, Los Alamos, you know, where they invented the atomic bomb? Uh, and I was just oblivious when I passed the checkpoint. Who knows what kind of secret military stuff they're making here these days. By the way, we are really going up in elevation here. More research should have gone into this, for sure. There, some local wildlife. So cool. My altimeter says that we are 8,000 feet above sea level. Then 8,900. We're really way up here. This is called uh, Valle Grande. Of course, we still have quite a bit of snow here on the side of the road. Yep. Right, let's continue. I'm supposed to turn left here, but I think we may have a problem. The road seems to be closed. Yeah, that's a fail of epic proportions after so much driving, but hey, at least we got to see the snow and the mountains and the pretty scenery and the highest old Kia has ever been for sure. Let's go back to Albuquerque. Actually, the RV park is in a suburb called Bernalillo. going through the Jemez Pueblo here. And yeah, we're stuck behind the school bus. Our luck. We'll be there soon. The sight of the Sandia Mountains means we are getting really close. And I would love to show you Albuquerque today, you know, but I have so much to show you. We are going to do that on the next video. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.